a Grace Fellow. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit about my experience. I am a mother and a writer. Um, and in 2019, I was diagnosed with stage 3B ovarian cancer. It also happened to um, coincide with COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, that was not really interesting because before COVID, you weren't, you had to go into the hospital to get your drugs and to get immunotherapy and to get the oral drugs. But once COVID hit, um, clinical trials rules changed a little bit to become more flexible. And I mentioned that because it was a huge change because I was working full time in parenting at the time. So to not have to go to the hospital, which really was like a six hour day because you'd have to go in, get examined labs, get examined and then wait for your doctor and then wait for the drugs. So it really was almost a whole day. Um, and mostly just waiting around after, you know, labs were done, um, because of COVID you were, the drugs could be mailed. The rules were changed and the drugs could just be mailed directly to your house. So that was a big deal. You could get labs locally and those labs could be sent to your hospital. Prior to COVID, that wasn't allowed. So some of the things I think COVID revealed um, was there can be more flexibility and that can allow people to stay in trials who might not otherwise be able to. Right. Um, Because, you know, missing one day um, on top of all your other treatments, you know, a day a month, which is what, you know, was required beforehand, not including the day you go on for an infusion. Um, you know, it was a big deal if you're, if right. you're, you know, a sole provider of parent or working or both. So I was grateful, uh, not obviously grateful for COVID, but grateful for the flexibility. It, ch- it definitely changed things. And also I was allowed to skip a few of the immunotherapy appointments because when COVID was at its height, Mass General, which is where I was getting treated, was a COVID treating hospital. So to go in for what might be sugar water, Mm -hmm. um, you know, to to make that risk, I was allowed to skip several before I had to withdraw from the trial. So also that level of flexibility isn't generally available, but they were accommodating because, you know, they're trying to help people figure out the risk benefit assessment as well. Right. Um, and they couldn't unblind me from the trial. So for several months, I was able to um, in the like March, April, May time period in those first months, I was able to avoid the hospital, which which was beneficial while still yeah. being able to take the um, we think was park drugs.